Annie, what's that stuff dangling from the tree over there? It's old man's beard, it's another epiphyte. So it's just hanging, it's an air plant. So it just hangs there and sort of draws nutrition and water out of the air. Well, Annie, this is absolutely stunning. What are we looking at here? This is obviously a waterfall, but where's all this coming from? We were up before at a small pond at the top of this gully. This gully runs down, uh, this joins a couple of other things, I guess, and ultimately it becomes the Johanna River, so it comes out at Johanna Beach. Wow. Um, it's fresh water and I've so never tasted it, but I... I was going to say, is it drinkable? Yeah. Well, uh, I don't know. to the water, it has its own concert, huh? Yeah. Its own sound. Um, I love this place. It's so beautiful. It's just, we, there's every chance we might have platypus, uh, which would be fantastic. I've never seen one here, but they are definitely in the Otways, so that would be nice. Do you get a lot of native animals like coming onto the property and coming here Absolutely. to Absolutely, it's, yeah. it's obviously a consistent water source for them. It's not, unfortunately, a lot of feral animals, but it's not unlikely to see a wallaby as you're doing a walk like this. Um, uh, less and less would be eastern ray, eastern grey kangaroos. You don't see koala here, they're different places on the Otways. Right. Um, yeah, sort of naturally, it's quite quiet. The biggest life are your an antichinus and your ground dwelling sort of rodenty things, and hopefully, quoll. Quoll would be fantastic. I'd like to imagine quoll coming here and having a drink. Indeed. Yeah, I haven't got any evidence of it, but I'm told they're here, which is. Fantastic to know.